Making it as an artist today is harder than it's ever been before, but also weirdly easier than it's ever been before. How does that make any sense? If we're digging way back in time, let's look Renaissance era. Only a handful of people even had the opportunity to become professional artists in the first place. You had to be lucky enough to train under an already established master, and even once you'd made a name for yourself, you'd be spending your life making art that was expected of you, the art that your rich patrons were asking for. Today, anyone can become an artist. Art supplies are dirt cheap, you can buy a stack of printer paper for a couple bucks and yoink a pencil for free off the IKEA shelf. But but just because anyone can doesn't mean that everyone can. Competition is fierce, potentially more so than it's ever been before, because prior it just wasn't an option available to most people. If you're one of the lucky few who hopped on the Instagram trend in 2010, you've probably amassed a massive following by today, just from posting your own personal work every now and then. But if you're the new kid on the block, good luck establishing that kind of a following in 2024. If you are, like me, looking at making a career out of art, then you're in for a very difficult challenge. Like I said, anyone can do it, but not everyone can. So what do we do about this? The first thing to understand is what the hard part actually is if your goal is to build a career. And there's really only two things that make it difficult. The first, the obvious one, is getting good, building the actual art skill to be able to make things professionally. Learning to draw or paint is an enormous investment of time and energy. I think most people don't have a clue how hard it actually is. And I'm including most artists in this too. Someone that's never tried to draw before, they've got so little experience that of course they're not going to know how challenging it really is. In the same way that I've got no idea what it's like to work on an oil rig. Maybe I spend a day reading about it, but that's still nothing compared to the real world experience of it. But then even among artists, I think so many people forget how hard you've had to work to get to where you are. And this is fairly easy to prove too. Every artist goes through periods where they're frustrated with their work, right? But when you first picked up a pencil, you would have been ecstatic to be able to draw at your current level. You've been through these ups and downs before, right? To get over this one, all it's going to take is more time, the same as it always has. It's so easy to hyper-focus though on where we are right now and totally forget about where we've come from and how much work we actually had to put in to get here. Learning to draw is a many thousands of hours journey, and it doesn't have an end point. The investment of time required is comparable to becoming a doctor. To work in medicine takes thousands of hours of study, work placement, real world experience. The stakes are totally different to making pictures, but the time investment is actually really similar. So, okay, but what about that other one? The other thing that makes it difficult to quote unquote make it as an artist? Well, if you want to work for other people, in a studio or freelance or at some big company, then mostly you just need to build up the skills that the job requires. If you're good enough, it's just a matter of applying, and let's be honest, you need some people skills too. Go to conventions, go make artist friends, etc. That'll speed up getting your first few steps into the industry by a lot. But for most artists right now, it's far more lucrative to go solo, to build your own career, make YouTube videos, post to Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, but for this to work, it all hinges on you building an audience first, and that's the real struggle. Getting people to notice you and to want to stick around to see what you make next. Even if you're making incredible art, in the world of today, that's just not enough. You have to convince people to click and to care about what you're making and why you're making it. Getting people to click on what you're making over everything else they're being shown is probably more challenging today than it's ever been before. You're just one artist, but think about the competition that you're up against. You aren't just fighting other creators for attention, you're battling giant mega corporations with billions of dollars to throw at advertising. The standard to just reach the starting line is so much higher now than it was just 10 years ago. The average creator on YouTube today would have been famous back then with everything you now need to know about titles and thumbnails just to get started. Instagram is the same, if you were posting daily with pretty art that's super shareable or in a meme sort of format you'd have built a career overnight in 2016. But the landscape has changed, and the competition is fierce. So, uh, where's the bright side in all of this then? 
on the one hand, yeah, it's a lot harder now than it's potentially ever been before, but on the other, there's also way more opportunity to actually make it, and to make it by creating exactly the art that you want to make. There is an audience out there for what you're making, it's just a matter of finding them. Or, more accurately, lighting a bright enough beacon that they can find you. Having to make art in a way that people will click on it is a struggle, but there's also more resources for learning this stuff now than ever before. And honestly, if I have to clickbait a little with a title and thumbnail that in return I might get to paint the entire Pokemon Emerald map for a living, that's a trade worth making. I think, at least. Subscribe for more art videos, or you can look at some of my other videos here. Uh, bye bye!